Welcome to our series on the true meaning of Christmas. You might be familiar with the phrase, he shall be called a Nazarene. You, you know that phrase? And so I want to talk with you a little bit about Nazareth itself and the meaning of that phrase as well. And so, you know, if you've ever had the chance to go to Israel and go to Nazareth, it's, it's an amazing little town. It's not a big town. It's in a very hilly area. It's not close to Galilee. It's actually kind of far away from the Sea of Galilee. It's, you know, maybe, I want to say a half an hour, 40 minutes, depending on the traffic. And it's kind of in a hilly area. And, you know, if, if you go to the city of Nazareth, you might encounter the Basilica, where, where you know, where the, where the Basilica of the Annunciation is, where Gabriel came to Mary. And it's a beautiful basilica. And most people don't realize this. They go to Nazareth, they go to the Basilica, but they never really walk around. But if you were to walk around, you can go just up the hills there and you could see, wow, this is a very small town. Um, it's not that big, even, even to this day. And so, you know, it's really something, it, it's a testimony of the place that Jesus chose to be, um, to be raised. He was raised in Nazareth. Remember, he was born in Bethlehem. They fled to Egypt. And then when he was 12 years old, they came back and he grew up in Nazareth and he was subject to his parents. And so if you ever get the chance to go there, you know, you can maybe, you know, take a little walk up the hills. And if you walk up the hills, you can kind of see, wow, there's nothing behind this city here. It's, uh, you know, just barren hills. So I want to tell you a little bit about this, this uh, prophecy here. He shall be called a Nazarene. Where is this prophecy in the Old Testament? Well, most scholars would agree that if you go to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, you'll find the best explanation because in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, we find a word that's very close to the name of, of Nazareth, Netzeret, and it, it has the sense of like a shoot or a new growth. So if you've ever seen a tree where, you know, maybe the um, tree's been cut down and then suddenly a new growth comes out of it, a little, it's called off, often a shoot or a ski on it comes out of the tree and then it grows into this big branch uh, it's it's a it's a um image for the ancient Israelites of new life. And that's what the image is. So the concept of a, new, of a shoot coming forth from the earth or from a tree, it's an image of new life. And so in a very agrarian culture, you know, whenever they saw a shoot coming forth from a tree trunk, they'd say, it's got life in it, okay? Or coming forth from the ground, wow, we're going to have a harvest in the future. And so it was a very powerful image for an agrarian culture of new life, a future and a future harvest. And so this, this image of new life and a future harvest, it was applied to prophecies that were, that were given about the Messiah. The shoot shall come forth from the stump of Jesse. Have you remember that? The shoot, a shoot shall come forth from the stump of Jesse. You can find that in Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 through 3. And it's talking about a new king who's going to come forth. And a similar image is used in Jeremiah 23, verses 5 and 6, and also Jeremiah 33, verses 14 and 15. And the whole concept is new life coming forth. And so this concept of new life is applied to the Davidic dynasty. Jesus is a descendant of David. And it's only a coincidence that he's brought up in a town called Nazareth, which you know has a similar name to those prophetic to that prophecy. And so, my brothers and sisters, he will be called a Nazarene. You can go back to Isaiah chapter 11, but also consider what Nazareth is. Nazareth is this very, very small town. Anybody who grew up in a small town might be able to relate to this. You know, Nazareth was just this small, insignificant town of only 80 to 120 people. It was never even mentioned in the Old Testament. Yet our Lord, who is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, chose to grow up in this almost hidden place before he began his ministry. Consider that. Have a Merry Christmas.